Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I'm sharing an interactive card, just a fun shaker card using some Whimsy Stamps products. I'm using everything you see here except for this scripty sentiment stamp set. I end up changing my mind and I really wanted to use this Twiddler's Nook Confetti Star Package and my new prize ribbon distress oxide stamp pad. It came in the mail while I was on vacation and I really wanted to play with it. So I'm going to be doing an embossed resist background. Surprise, surprise. I put a piece of mixed media paper into my Misty. It's slightly larger than four and a quarter and five and a half so I can trim it later. And I am inking up my background stamp with Versamark ink because I'm going to be embossing and I'm also going to use my embossing buddy because I am stamping clear onto white paper so it's going to be really hard to see and I want to make sure I get a nice clean stamp image. So I'm actually stamped twice. I just kind of fast forward it here so you don't have to see me ink the pad again. And I also use my stamp pendable just to help make sure I had really good even pressure on my image when I'm stamping on my Misty. Next, I'm going to get out my white embossing powder. It is a detail fine embossing powder, so I make sure I have a really nice crisp embossed image. So I am placing it inside of my tray with a coffee filter just to help with cleanup. And once everything is covered, I'm just gonna set this aside and I will warm up my heat gun and start melting down that embossing powder on my background. And once that is all done and dry, I just take a Swiffer cloth and just kind of brush off anything extra that could be lingering around. And now I can work on my resist part. So here's my brand new stamp pad. I literally just took the plastic off. So now I'm going to grab my brush here and just start blending on that beautiful blue color onto my background. It is so pretty. I really love this royal like bright blue. I think it's going to make a great addition to my ocean cards and maybe some deeper sky colored cards. So once I have that done, I'm just taking a cloth here and sorry for my shaky camera, but I wiped off any of that ink that was left over onto my background that was on the white embossing part. And then I got my distress sprayer out, spritzed it a few times and just use a cloth to pick up that excess ink from it being activated by the water. And once I'm happy with how it's looking, I decide that I probably also want to add some splatter. So I'm just going to move aside my ink pad and my little workstation and get out my splatter box. I'm going to be using the two colors I have from Front Stamper's Journey. This is whipped cream and I'm going to spritz that on. I use my heat gun to kind of speed up the process and then move on to beach ball. And once I'm happy with how my splatter is looking, I set it aside to let it dry. I have a piece of white cardstock cut slightly larger than my A2 wonky window 4 die. I've also cut out a piece of acetate and I'm going to work on trimming down my background so that it's slightly smaller than my card base front here. I'm not worried about anything showing because that A4 window die fits perfectly on the front of my card Base. and I want my blue paper here to be slightly smaller so I can make sure it's nice and centered in the background. So I use some strong sticky tape as this has been distressed and embossed and spritzed and I want to make sure it has a nice adhesion to my card base. So I center that down and again it has a little bit of a border but you're not going to see it once everything is put together. Next I'm going to adhere my acetate to the front part of my car which is that wonky window and I'm using some 1 8 of an inch thick adhesive roll. And I'm going to go all the way around as well as on the inside of those windows and I'm going to attach my acetate to this piece. I want to thank my aunt for giving me a ton of acetate. I guess these were from a projector that Kodak used to sell, you know, that teachers would write on for school. So I have these awesome huge square sheets that I now have to cut and make shaker cards with. So once that's attached, my little stars are super thin, so I can just use my regular foam strips here from scrapbook.com. I'm going to go all the way around my rectangle A2 size here, and I just want to make sure that when I add another piece of this foam that it is really nice and snug against the previous piece, and I go all the way around, including inside my windows, and now I can work on adding in my sequin bits. 
because this is pretty large and I'm not too worried about where my sequins bits are going to be, I'm not going to put it inside of the actual shaker window and then another acetate piece behind it, which is something that I usually do if it's a more complicated shape. Instead, I'm just going to put it directly onto my background and peel off that release paper from my window and then place that on to my card and it, you know it, it was easy just to keep all those little bits where I wanted them until I was done adhering that front part and as you can see I shake it everything's moving and staying inside and that's the most important part when making a shaker card so I'm pretty happy with that so let's start working on our front decoration embellishments on the card I have this cute little bunny from the hello sunshine stamp set and I'm stamping it in my ink on three blackout ink my favorite ink for alcohol markers I'm using my misty again and I'm going to stamp that twice to make sure I have nice clean stamped image and I went ahead and colored it in with my spectrum noir illustrator markers and fussy cut him out because I wanted to also make sure I get inside those couple areas near the flowers and the bunny's ears and then I am going to use my tweezers to help lift up just a little bit on that frame since I used a 1 8 inch strip there's still a little bit of room there without you know completely ripping off this part of the frame on the card and I'm using some wet glue and I'm just gonna tuck that inside behind the frame and that way it looks like my little rabbit is kind of peeking out and with its cute little flowers like he's saying hello <laughs> so once I get him in there I realize I kind of want to pop up his ears and flowers just to give it a little bit of dimension like he really is popping out of the frame so I'm gonna grab these tiny little dimensionals and put them in different areas where the ears and the flowers will touch the acetate or the, the card base at this point so I am just placing like I said four I've got one behind each ear one behind the yellow flower and one behind the purple flower and then I will peel off the release paper off of each of these and secure my little rabbit dam so originally I wanted to use that fun kind of scripty fonted sentiment set but I just thought it would take up too much space and I really wanted to see that prize ribbon in my background so I thought just using a sentiment from my hello sunshine stamp would be just perfect so I grabbed a quick strips die and die cut it out of some blue paper that I thought matched prize ribbon fairly well from my stash this is just for my scraps in my bins and I'm gonna stamp the hello there sentiment in Versamark again and I will emboss it with white powder again just like my background now this time I did forget to use my embossing buddy tool so I will have to take a little brush and kind of wipe off all of the excess powder that I got into places I didn't want it to be but it's okay it still looks pretty good I warmed up my heat gun and melted down my embossing powder for my sentiment and I think it looks great it's very bright and with a white on that blue and I think it matches really well with the background and overall colors of the card I decided to pop it up so it would be the same level as my rabbit so I'm just using three more dimensionals and making sure that they are behind the sentiment and attached to the acetate and I will peel up that release paper and then place my sentiment strip onto the card once it's in place I'm going to just grab my super large scissors and I'm going to trim off the excess part of that card stock just using the edge of the card as a guide and that will finish up my card. It was pretty simple and quick. Like I said, I just really wanted to play with some of my new goodies and to share with you how you can create this easy shaker card with the wonky window dies. So thank you so much for watching. You can use the links down below in my description if you'd like to see what I have used to create this card. I hope you'll click like if you enjoyed this video and if you're new, I hope I've inspired you to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.